Hello, my name's Kevin Friend. I'm the sheriff in Lynn County, Kansas, and today we'll be taking a tour of the Lynn County Justice Center. About 10 years ago, the Lynn County Commission started devising a plan to put this project in place. Today we'll be taking a tour through the Justice Center uh, here in Lynn County. Upon entry, you're gonna see some new technology. Some of that's gonna be a new x-ray machine where we'll be scanning bags. You'll be dealing with the bailiffs here. They'll be directing you through the process. So we're in the larger of our two courtrooms here in the Justice Center. Another piece of new technology are the televisions or the monitors that are placed in the jury boxes. And to us, that's a huge impact because the jury truly gets to see what we're talking about while we're talking about it, instead of just later passing that photo around to the jury so then they could be able to see it. We're in our jury room now, which lies between both of our courtrooms. So either courtroom could have a jury ongoing in it, or one or the other. This is the smaller of our two courtrooms. We refer to this as courtroom B. Courtroom B would be utilized uh, for things such as smaller jury trials or something like that if you had a misdemeanor or a trial to the judge. Possibly be used for confidential hearings and juvenile hearings, things like that. This is our district court office that we're currently in. In this office, if you were coming in uh, to the district court to file papers or whatnot, you would in enter up at the main lobby, come through security, and then you'd be able to enter the windows that are behind me and talk to the district court clerks. There you might have to file a case, file papers with the court or anything of that nature. We're now in the lobby of the sheriff's office. Everything surrounding this public entry has a bulletproof backing behind the sheetrock that you see on the walls here. If we were to suffer anything like an active shooter, uh, we would have some protection for our civilian staff who are working behind these walls. We're really excited about this space because before we've always had to go to another facility to obtain that training where we would actually have a class at the sheriff's office. You'll see on the wall behind me, this is our memorial for Sergeant Stacy Murrow, who we lost in December of 2021. I hope that memorial never grows to have to add another officer to, another deputy to, or any other law enforcement in our community. But nevertheless, this is where we'll always think of Sergeant Murrow. This is our deputies lounge. This is where the deputies will return to after working out on the street, taking case reports and things like that. We have a state partner's office. Now what we get to do is bring our state partners in, the Kansas Highway Patrol, the Kansas Bureau of Investigation, our Kansas conservation folks, and they can actually work under the same roof that we do. This is the booking room of the Lynn County Jail. We have all types of nuances here. Around me, you'll see different types of cell configurations, which allows us to take in just about any type of inmate that would be incoming. The new facility, we have about 200 camera systems in it that are gonna help us protect our inmate and our staff here at the facility. We're really happy with this situation and we think it's gonna be uh, really easy to grow into and utilize through the years. So here we are in the jail. This is F-Pod. F-Pod holds 16 inmates. Keep in mind, our entire jail currently has a capacity at max of 20. So we can put 16 of those in this very pod that we're standing in. In the new facility, we have kiosks in every pod. What does that do for us, people would ask. A kiosk is gonna be a device where an inmate can sit down in front of that kiosk and they can do their research. They can look at a law library. Um, 
and they can have visitation with their family through that kiosk. What does that do for the sheriff's office? It takes out a lot of labor from our current system. We're here at Pod D, and this pod is actually a dorm. We put bunk beds in it, and it'll serve us as our holding facility for our lowest level inmates. And those inmates, many of those, will also be inmate labor here at the jail. They might work in the laundry facility, in the kitchen. They might work on our floors or windows. There'll be a lot of things that these folks can do. This is our central control room. Some might call it master control. What, how this room serves the Lynn County Jail is that we have an operator that sits in here and they control all door locking mechanisms, all lighting controls, all water controls, and anything of that nature that would be going on in the jail. In our old facility, we didn't have anything like this. Water just flowed all the time. If inmates wanted to take showers, they could do that for a couple hours a day. This water system, we call it the Willoughby because that's what it's termed as, the Willoughby allows us to control every piece of water right down to the toilet flushes in their cell, how long their shower runs for. Every time they push the button to run water in any fashion inside of cell, it's documented on this system. If you come to the Lynn County Jail and you want to visit with an inmate, you're going to be directed to this room where you'll be able to sit down in front of a kiosk and you'll visit with the inmate who's in the jail through their video kiosk system that you've seen earlier in the jail. You can also, quite frankly, stay at home and you can port in and we'll hook you up with your inmate back in the jail for that visitation. As well in this area, there's also a kiosk for our commissary and place where you can put money on the inmate's books if you choose to. That's all housed within the video visitation room. This is our medical room, or our clinic as we refer to it here in the Lynn County Jail. We recently partnered with CHC so they would come into this facility. So we're just trying to move forward with a very humane effort to keep our inmates' health care in check. This is our 911 dispatch center. Our Lynn County dispatchers dispatch for 911 calls and all types of emergency situations. In this dispatch center, we take 130 to 150 911 calls per week. This will be staffed with two dispatch operators who are 911 operators. They dispatch for county law enforcement, municipal law enforcement, and state law enforcement when they're working in our county. This is our evidence storage room at the Lynn County Sheriff's Office. Currently at the Sheriff's Office over across the street, we have about 38,000 items of evidence stowed. In this room, we believe we'll be able to get into the 70 and 80,000 items of evidence in this room. We think in this type of a room, we'll be a lot more efficient with our evidence handling. Yeah, my name is Chris Martin. I'm the Lynn County IT Director. Uh, here at the Lynn County Justice Center, we've got our new server facility. Um, it's an excellent room. It houses all of our servers. We currently have 37 servers and four racks. Uh, in those servers is our 911, our phone system, everything for the sheriff, for the rest of the county operations, and our radio systems. Uh, there's over 80 miles of wire in the facility and electrical, low voltage, and data. Uh, and all most of that actually lands into this room. Uh, what we had in the past was a closet compared to this. Uh, it wasn't much larger than a closet. It housed two server racks. In here, there are seven server racks and growing. Um, and then we also have all of our data infrastructure up on the roof for the, the county uh, and all of our high-speed data link. We're now at the Lynn County Attorney's Office here in the Justice Center. With the county attorney being under the same roof that we are, that's gonna be a huge asset because we all work together really close. Daily, we brief cases and talk about events that are going on in our county. It's gonna be really nice for the county attorney as well because he'll be right here next door to the courts where he spends much of his day. So once we make our way down the hallway, this will conclude our tour of the new Lynn County Justice Center. This Justice Center is gonna offer us a lot more opportunity moving into the future. We're really excited 
It's going to be so much safer, so much better, and I think we'll be able to operate a lot more efficient out of here. So, thanks for taking our tour with us today.